Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the channel. Excuse my voice, um, I've been streaming a lot and I've been trying to make a lot of videos and content so my voice is very strained at the minute but it's currently uh, mid-Sunday afternoon should we say and people have been saying hi, we'd like kind of like another sort of say day in the life vlog type video so that is what we're doing today, it's another like day in the life sort of, I say typical day. Um, some of you probably will know that I am like nocturnal and I stream at night and at the minute the heat is absolutely ridiculous. Now the problem with that is in the summer is during the day, like on days like today, the weather is ridiculous but I'm planning on streaming tonight so I need to try and sleep. Uh, but I can't sleep so I thought, you know what, I'm going to tick a few things off, get a few jobs done, do a few bits and kind of, as I say, bring you another day in the life vlog sort of 12 hour period of what we're ever we're gonna do um not got a crazy amount of stuff to do but that's the hey that's the day of life uh i have got some plans of videos coming up as well i always say this i know i actually do there's a lot of places in the southwest i want to go there's a lot of places in europe i want to go so stay tuned hopefully coming to the channel soon so after this i'm gonna head to sainsbury's but before i do i'm actually going to head to the house that I grew up in for about 15 to 20 years, which I'm gonna reveal more in a minute. The one perk of today is the weather is absolutely lovely. The good thing is it's there's a little bit of a breeze, you know, and it's not like properly sort of like still heat. I remember we went to France around this time last year. Um, I did, I've got me Crocs on actually. I did some of Crocs at like TwitchCon. And honestly, excuse the train. Honestly, I got off the Eurostar and like, I thought the initial heat was coming off the train. It was absolutely ridiculous. Like, I mean, ridiculously hot, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And I like, I hate the heat. I know some people love it. I burn, and when I say ridiculously, like I need like factor 50. I got my hat on, like I will, I will burn. I need the kids, Nivea, whatever it is, other varieties of sun cream are available, factor 50 or I'll turn like red as anything. Yeah, honestly. But I gotta get outside, like, anyone that sort of does a nighttime thing will understand what I mean about how bad it is in the summer. And some people will say simply, I'll oh, change it. But unfortunately, that's kind of like the time I stream and that's still the time I like to do stuff. So you kind of just gotta deal with it really for like three months, I guess. But I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I kind of like the way we do things as a FIFA sort of creator is most of the year and then the summer is kind of like a few months of leniency, I guess. So, hey, it is what it is. We just got to roll with that. But, I mean, bloody hell, the undergrowth in that round here is like ridiculous. Ironically, actually, I've got to go and like, I've got to pay some like council tax bill. Plus City Council, any... Any gardeners about? Because I'm sure this is, Lord knows. I used to play football down here all the time as a kid. Anyone that knows these cages, like this is like pure nostalgia. They've done these up. So this used to be here behind me. This never used to be fenced. And that used to just be like open all the time. It used to be concrete. It was like two courts, five a side. Like seriously, the amount of nights that I spent down here, not gaming, not inside, not on TikTok or whatever, doing stuff like that, same as the East Courts. Never used to have nets. Playing tennis and that in there, messing around every night. It's certainly a uh, bit of a nostalgia trip today. Don't know if you can see it, but basically the railway depot in there pretty much lived next to that and a railway line for multiple, multiple, multiple years. That is where my granddad used to work actually. Took me in there. Guess who done the most pie face? Actually, no, I'd call it the most jack thing ever. I went to the house, because it needs sorting. Like, so much work, like the garden. I got to sort of all the inside of it out. And I left the key at home, brilliant. So, yeah, that'll probably have to wait for another vlog. It'll end up being like, um, what well, they used to have it on TV with bloody Nick Knowles, DIY SOS will be what it end up like. But we have continued our nostalgia trip. I actually, like, grew up here. Uh, in this part of Plymouth. I mean, literally probably spent a good 20, 25 years of my life like around this area. I actually, so, my mother actually worked in there 
for a little bit. That's now a salon. It's been like a load of stuff, like a gym and that over the years. Just down there used to be a chip shop, again, which my mum used to work in. And then up that hill behind me is literally where I went to school and nursery. I mean, honestly, it is a, uh, yeah, it's an absolute throwback, mate. So there you go, that is literally where I went to school. Larry Green Primary School. And before anyone makes a comment, because I know you will, it's a Sunday and there's no kids about, all right? So that's what I'm gonna say, oh, why are you filming schools? Silly people. This here behind me, by the way, it's a sad day, actually. That used to be the best after school news agent slash tuck shop known to man. Anyone that was ever from around this area will know. They used to do like, do you remember like, and this is a throwback, like lucky mixed bags for like 10p. You used to get about 20 sweets for 10p. Nowadays you can't even buy a Freddo for 10p. That's how bad the situation is. It's crazy. I mean, this whole place has changed so much. I'm gonna flip it around here. Like this used to be like a church hall, should we say? I mean, done so much in there. Like, you know, like kids clubs and after school stuff. Um, I don't even know what it is actually now, to be honest with you. But yeah, no, used to have loads of stuff. I always used to do Aikido. Don't know, if, don't know if anyone has ever heard of that, Aikido. It is a martial art, but it's actually a martial art that focuses on self-defense. Um, I, I, yellow, I think, was one of the early belts. Like White belt, I think, is one of the early belts as well uh, in Aikido. It used to get like little red stripes that were added to your belt as, I, uh, as you kind of like moved up the ranks. That's one thing I used to do as well as a kid. Who knew? Pie with a bit of Japanese martial arts. I'll tell you something that's very, very sad. Honestly, I'm having a mad nostalgia trip here, I can't lie, is behind me here, the spa shop has been boarded up and so has the barbers. So Andy used to have a barbers there, top lad, shout out to Andy, used to cut my hair for years and years and years when I was a kid. Unbelievable place, you know, like sky on, football on, shirts everywhere. And that spa shop literally served this community for years and years and years. I can't believe it's shut. I don't know some people that's nothing, but you know what it's like with like local little hubs like that. You kind of meet people and chat to people, even if it's just a brief while in the morning. Normally what I had was my dad fuming in the morning because I'd drunk all his milk that he wanted for his coffee. Because I was probably a nightmare. No, I say probably, I was a nightmare to deal with with a child. So shout out to my parents because they grafted uh, to make sure, you know, we had food on the table. And a lot of you know my past. I definitely was a nightmare, but they raised me very well. So shout out to mother and father pie. I'll tell you what also while we're at it down here, I would go down there, but it's a big hill and I can't lie, I can't bother to get back up it. There's a basically a social club at the bottom of there. If any of you have seen like Phoenix Nights, I'm talking, it's called the Railway Club, like proper old school social club. You know, watched England games in there. I remember watching England, Portugal. I actually watched the David Beckham. Do you remember, uh, was it against Argentina? Where he kicked his back leg, up, back, uh, back leg up and got sent off. Remember watching that in there proper. I don't know if any of you have seen the videos of me playing darts as like a kid and stuff on YouTube. Some of you may have done. I mean, they're on TikTok or whatever. Um, or the pub quiz machine. <laughs> that was in there. That's probably where it all started. Snooker, pool. Proper place to hang out. Um, to be fair, yeah, probably is where half me issues as a kid started. <laughs> playing on that, playing on that. Everyone, remember the uh, like the pints make prizes and bullseye, like 50p a go. Spending me pocket money in there for four hours a night after school or like after a dummy Mackie shift. It's all coming back to me, honestly. It's all coming back to me. It'd be good to able to uh, actually show you guys some stuff in the house when I managed to get in there. That was me just being stupid I've just it's all it's all flown about just remember on like Sunday afternoons I remember like meat raffles and stuff I used to have all that down there 50p a ticket quit a strip end up with a end up being like 16 years old with a leg of lamb what are you gonna do at 16 with a leg of lamb especially when all cheer especially when all the good prizes have gone what are you gonna do I think back to all those Sunday evenings like when uh coast would come on or planet earth is it hoppy pop de la the music from planet earth the heartbeat music played and you knew it was going to be school in the morning and you had to do it all over again. If you were lucky, you got to stay up and watch Match of the Day too. 
have aged tonight or much of the day too. With Adrian Charles, that was a terrible impression. If you know, like, the thing is, if you know, if you know, you know, and that, like, uh, to me, it's crazy to think that that was all so long ago now. Like, I'm 32 now. This is probably happening when I was like, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16, like 15, 16 years ago. I'm so old. Oh, finally got a little bit of shade. Excuse the audio, by the way, if it goes really bad for this bit, because I didn't bring the mic from here. I'm like on the sort of main road now. I'll try and show you like through the fences, but over there, it's bloody lovely. Let me just flip this around there. So nice. So that's a place called Saltrum. Can actually go on a really nice walk. Sort of like round walk around there. If you live locally, give it a go. Loads of dog walkers, that sort of thing. Really, really nice place. They got like a, I mean, it's not really my sort of thing, but you know, like the UK Trust or whatever. I don't can't remember what it's called, but it's got like one of those like houses. Sorry. I'm just on the lookout for cyclists. They're hammering it down here all the time. But I always say on these vlogs, on a nice day it would look nice. We've actually found a nice day, which is ideal. Uh, I have, honestly, and I'll say this in every vlog, because people know it, but <laughs> I will try and get out about more stuff. I kind of want to do another day of lifestyle one, but there are so many nice places in the Southwest. Like, people have said, Pi, get up to Dartmoor. Pi, get down to Flambards, get to St. Ives. Like, it's all on the list, I promise. But I don't drive, so wherever I go, it's a distance for me. Train! Again, apologies if the audio is not great on this bit. Um, no, I, I don't drive, so A, I need to learn, but for me to get anywhere, I gotta like work it out logistically. And again, like, I'm gonna have to try and maybe stream a couple days less to make more vlogs. I do bloody love making these sorts of videos and like, I wanna be able to go places and explore places and try places out. And in order to do that, it takes time, so coming soon. We're on, we're on the early working, should we say, the early days of the channel. And I really do appreciate everybody that's um, come in, dropped a comment, liked, subscribed. I can't believe we've got over 25,000 subs uh, just watching me do silly things and sometimes doing very boring and pedantic things like going back to where I used to live and walking to Sainsbury's. But you guys say pie, we like to see every day now and again so i thought i'd give you every day i only just realized actually because i'm an idiot even though i said it is sunday i'm gonna go and watch man united arsenal after this it's close to closing which a i nearly forgot and b it looks busy i am very like british in the fact that i hate queuing like hate busyness and when i say I hate queuing i actually hate queuing when i went to butlins everyone knows lucas cook i actually paid him to, to go and get food because it was rammed. Butlins deliver a edition. During the week, I've been trying to eat well and like trim as much as I can. On the weekend, oh dear. Now I'm old, I always like find myself like shopping in the home the home section. Let's get a. Bed strokes brush set. I oh, know that's actually just a duvet. Sorry, I thought that was some sort of like posh, posh, posh thing. How about a Habitat bottle glass tea light holder for three pound fifty? I'd, I'd drink out of that. Reminds me of like, do you remember the McDonald's um, Coke cans? I can't lie as well. I've been having a lot of like steak, eggs, and chicken recently. These things are quite good. These medallions, extra lean. Get a couple of them. Where's the chicken? Mate, I'll tell you how this is class. Anyone else love these? Seafood sticks, crab sticks. Tesco's own are the best ones though. These young's ones, mate, they're like they're like too good. There's too much good stuff in there. They're only crab sticks if they're like not crab. This is the best pasta in the land. Oh my god. My trolley's going, my trolley's going anymore. Stay. That's what I'm currently going there for, by the way. And yes, that is Craven Dow. I know. Scab, 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 scab. Scoop, scoop. 
I can't lie, I'll probably get about four, four or five boxes of it. I haven't had this stuff in ages. I can't lie, that's a good haul, man. Sorry about that, literally, I come out of blooming Sainsbury's um, and, oh Jesus, I want to talk about this. So I come out of Sainsbury's, I had to like run for the taxi. Firstly, because the lady in front of me, there is nothing worse, like, honestly, she took so, so, so long. Like, I always scan the aisles in Sainsbury's. I'm like, right, what's going to be the best one to go on? She had about two items left. I thought, easy peasy, get me in, happy days. She had to look for about seven vouchers. She then got the voucher that was out of date. She was like pleading for it to be used. I just thought, please, just pay. I'd like to get out of here at some point today. My food is literally going to be in the trolley for so long in this heat, it's going to go off. So there was that. And then secondly, what has happened to Uncle Ben? Where has he gone? Why is it now just Ben's original? Like, he's not on the packet anymore. Who makes this stuff? What's the company called? Proudly part of Mars. Mars, bring back Uncle Ben. Where has he gone? This is a petition. Right, we've had a nap. We've watched Arsenal beat Man United. I've got my cup of tea. Those that watch my streams, I don't know if you do. Uh, basically, I can't stream without... Excuse me, lovely. Like, four cups of tea a night. Like, seriously, I need... I said I need tea. I'm very routine, as you also may know. So, i got to have me bruise while I'm streaming. Gives me a little bit away from the desk. Sorry that a lot of this vlog has been me at the desk. But again, it is literally a day in the life. The time is currently half past 8 p.m. Just so you know. So, I'm probably going to stream now for five, six hours. I was going to try and finish a little bit, I say earlier today. Because I've got some stuff I need to do tomorrow. Whether I do or not, who knows. But I'm planning on going to the gym after the stream. So, the plan is to continue the vlog later on to see if I actually go, which I am planning on. Um, I don't know, see this is the thing, because we're trying to kind of move things into this IRL style content, I don't know how many of you know about the drama and that in the FIFA community at the moment. So yeah, streaming at the moment is a little bit like, I, I just enjoy streaming. Um, it is a little bit weird at the minute and today is probably gonna be like, I don't know, hopefully the start of the stream isn't too bad. I just kind of want to have some fun with the gang, you know, have a good chat. If you do want to watch my live streams, I believe there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I normally stream like five, sometimes six nights a week at night. So, yeah, please come and uh, say hello if you do. I have like, people come in and say, oh, watch the vlogs and stuff. So, honestly, I do really, really appreciate it. I know today isn't like a world on fire type video, but I think it's nice to have a balance between kind of like when I say challenges more say bigger challenge videos or if I'm away doing something or if I'm planning to go somewhere just to keep things flowing nicely on the channel shall we say right anyway I'm gonna crack on the live stream drink me brew do some business and I'll see you guys in a little bit well that was a long night it would have been milliseconds for you but it was nearly eight hours actually since I last see you it's now 4 28 a.m. Uh, I can't lie, I'm knackered, but because I'm on the vlog, I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna, I'm doing it. I'm sending it. I'm going. I'm manning up. I'm very tired, and I have so much to do today. Like I'm gonna get like no sleep, but that's a problem for later, I guess. Right? I'm gonna go and sort my life out. Literally, great stream tonight. The champs video is gonna be good, I think. That was we went to war in champs with R9. Uh, but yeah, thanks to everyone that hung around the stream tonight. It was great fun. I'm going to go and get changed, sort myself out, and go to the game. If you know, you know. It's mornings like this and like sessions like this when literally I would rather be in one place and that is my bed or on my sofa watching a bit of CSI eating something. And I am going to eat after this because I've got to get up later and I know I'll have things to do. I'm literally going to destroy after this some steak, chicken and eggs and probably some veg as well will go down. Pretty lucky at the moment, as you know earlier, the weather was like really nice. It's, it's been a weather warning all night. Don't know if you watched the United uh, Arsenal game. Started out beautifully, and in the end it was hammering it down. Like it's nearly five o'clock. It, it won't be busy now, but there'll be people in there. Like if I go at like 3 a.m., I'll probably be the only person in there. So I'm a little bit conscious of like filming because with obviously other people there, I don't necessarily want to, but I'll try and pick one of the bikes um, that's like out the way. I'm, I'm really weird. I've got like certain machines that I like to use. 
So for those that ask what I do in the gym, literally cardio. I don't bother with anything else. Um, I go for like 30, 45 minutes. I normally cycle like 15, 16K, or I'll like cycle 5, 10K, go for a couple of K run, incline walk, something like that. I just think to be honest with you, at the minute, I've been trying to just balance it. Like I've not been eating perfectly, but I have been having like healthy meals and I am going to the gym at, to keep myself balanced. As I say, the weekend wasn't great, but hey, it is what it is on that front. So I think if I was to go hard at it, you know what I mean? Give up a good hour, full send it harder. That would be doable, but just the action I think of going, I mean, I hate it, but I actually, I, I hate and love the gym. It is the best and worst place. Like as I say, right now, would I rather be eating me dinner on my sofa after a long day? Yeah, I would. But I know that feeling afterwards of, oh, I feel good. It is worth it, people. It is worth it. It is proper like blowing. It's got that feel, it, it has got that feel that it is going to hammer it down soon. Like hammer it down. I hope it doesn't when I'm on the way home. That'll be vile. Right, I'm gonna lock in, try and start off with a heavy 5k, and I'll catch you in a little bit. Um, sit rep, 5k down. Thing is, it's so hot, but that was a good 5k. I pushed myself. I'm normally in the middle of it, like, chill out a little bit, like, while I'm cycling, just read a few messages and stuff. Awesome, sorry, the camera's like, it's hard to keep it steady when you're like, I mean, I'll show you. Me legs are, what's the gimbal doing here? Oh my God, mate. Um, I'll try to, couldn't figure it out. All right, that's 10K. Ooh. Starting to get a little bit cooked up, I can't lie. Hey, there we go, not bad going. Nearly 16K, I'll probably get to 16 just to finish off. Oh. And there we go, that is 16K done. I can't lie. I reckon I probably could have done like another 5, 10K there, but because it's so late, it's nearly six o'clock. I need to get home, I need to eat, I need to get to bed. The next one, the next bit I do, I'm gonna have to come here and try and do like 25K, 27K, something like that. Oh, the doors of heaven. When I see people arriving, I'm like, I'm, or leaving and I'm arriving, I'm like so jealous. I feel like the feeling of leaving and knowing I'm going home is wonderful. The birds are chirping, the sun is out. This is the, excuse the state of me by the way, I'm an absolute mess here, but obviously, session done. Oh, get me my dinner, or supper, or breakfast, whatever you want to call it. And boom shakalaka, there you go. Stream done, gym done, eating done, day in the life, done. Right, I'm gonna go and have, watch some CSI. I'm gonna eat me tea. Thanks for watching the day of the life. Don't forget, if you are new, please do subscribe. And don't forget to drop a like. And I'll catch you in the next one. Much love, gang. Peace out.